Welcome to IPOB Rapture Media. IPOB Press Release, June 13th, 2024. Don't set Biafra land on fire. No governor should allocate grazing reserve to Mayeti Ala Militia IPOB. The noble family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOBI, led by the great prophet and resolute leader, Mazi Namdi Okwukanu, wish to caution the eastern governors to shun the recent demand from Mieti Allah terrorist group for the governors to allocate grazing reserves in their respective states. To them, no governor in Biafra land should mortgage the safety and security of Biafrans by allocating land to the terrorists for Ruga in disguise. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, is asking the southern and middle belt governors to reject the demand for grazing reserves by the Fulani Mieti Allah terrorist organization in Nigeria. Fulanis claim to be Nigerians. Why would they want grazing reserves from other states instead of utilizing their own ancestral land for their grazing reserve? Any governor in Nigeria that yields to this selfish demands of these terrorists has mortgaged the future of their generations to come. That governor will be mortgaging the future of their children to mass slaughter and mass burial, and that governor must be receiving consequences of his or her actions. Any state or clan that allocates land to the Fulanis today for whatever reason have willfully sold his state to invasion and displacement. Both. The governor and his future generations will not live to tell the story of yesterday by the time the terrorists will launch attacks to take over their state. People must learn from history. History always repeats itself. According to history, the indigenous houses welcomed and hosted the nomadic Fulanis from Futa Jelon in the 18th century. Today, the indigenous houses have been reduced to slaves in their own land. In today's northern Nigeria, Fulanis have displaced, killed, took over, and renamed many Hausa communities. Almost all the northern opinion leaders, political leaders, traditional rulers, and religious leaders by Fulanis and Hausas have no other place to call their place. The same deception and voodoo the Fulanis used on the Hausas in the 18th century is what they are using on the political elites in the rest of Nigeria, and if such voodoo works on other Nigerians, it won't work on Biafrans as long as IPOB ESN exists. If the indigenous people in Nigeria think that the political class have all the powers to stop the marauding Fulanis and their fulanization agenda, then the people must be out of their minds. As we bring the attention of the governors and politicians in the south to the Fulani's dangerous moves to grab people's land, the people themselves must rise up to defend their ancestral lands or be doomed. As for us, IPOB, the Fulani's, knew that Biafra land is a no-go area for their deception and voodoo. We are certain that governors in the Yi Biafra land will not mortgage the future of our generations to come. But if they dare create any grazing reserves for Fulani's, they would have drawn the battle line with IPOB ESN. We are confident that they will never allow Fulanis to occupy or be in possession of an inch of Biafra land. President Ahmed Bola Tinubu, who created the Livestock Ministry for Fulanis, should allocate grazing reserves to them. The Livestock Ministry is a code name for Ruga. No Ruga in any format. It will be tolerated in the eastern region. President Tinubu can allocate Sambisa Forest as a grazing reserve to the Mieti Allah. That massive forest is more than enough grazing reserve and settlement for them. The Fulanis can have their way with the Nigerian Fulanized presidency, but the indigenous people must resist any attempt to take over their ancestral land in the name of grazing reserves and Fulani settlement. Fulanis are opposed to the idea of modern ranching. Instead, they want grazing reserves in different states because they are deceptively pursuing the Othman Dan Fodio's ideology of conquering the whole of Nigeria. IPOB is reminding the Nigerian government and Mieti Allah that Biafrans don't have sufficient land for development and agriculture, let alone for grazing reserves. IPOB ESN operatives have a duty to monitor Biafran forests and bushes. They are to dislodge any Fulani terrorist and destroy any Fulani settlement found in the bush.
Fulanis are free to export their cows to our territory by cargo and sell to them to their customers, and after which they go back to their base. Those of them who want to reside in Biafra land should rent a house and live peacefully like other citizens. But we will never tolerate any terrorist occupying any inch of our forest for whatever reason. If ESN operatives apprehend anyone in the bush, such a fellow will be treated as a terrorist. IPOB, once more, call on all the governors in the south, particularly the eastern governors, to avoid setting fire that will consume their generations to come by disregarding Mieti Allah terrorists' group demand for a grazing reserves. IPOB will resist any form of land grabbing, change of demography, and conquest ideology in any disguise. All we are saying is that there shall be no grazing reserve for Mieti Allah terrorists' group in Biafra land. Comrade Emma, powerful media and publicity secretary for IPOB. Please don't forget to support the ESN at www.ipob.org.